All right. Uh, we're setting up your meeting in Facebook. It looks like Facebook is up. There we go. Okay. Hello, everybody. How are you? It is Monday. It is the show I love to do uh, because just a lot of nice people. Boy, they're waiting for me already. They're waiting for me already. Okay. Well, let's bring them in. Let's see here. Admit all. Okay. There they go. Joining, joining. Uh, there we got, uh, uh, okay, uh, we got, um, let's see here, we got Charlie Wallace, we got uh, Charlene Solis, we got Francine Witt, we got Marjorie, we've got John Ewing, we've got Andrew Deutsch, and we've got Len trying to get on, and how dare we miss you. You weren't here last week. You That's were right. Price is right. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Here is my official name tag. If you, anybody wants. To. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, really? Was yeah, that? Yeah. Bad? yeah. You're not supposed to tell us how much you won, but. <laughs> <laughs> it was, uh, and 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 uh, the, it, uh, boy, we'll get to that in a second. Oh, it's yeah. Edward Berger. That's right. There we go. Okay. Hello, Edward. How are you? Good. 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 Now, Edward last week was not with us. <laughs> Because he went for what his annual journey, right? Yeah, out to the Price is Right, which is in California, right? Right, right. And right. you didn't stop in to see me. I can't believe it. Well, <laughs> you, you weren't at the Denny's when he went for lunch. I yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. In LA. yeah, they've been following me my whole trip. Are they still at the CBS studios, or are they? No, out no, there? no. They moved. They moved out of there because they CBS moved. It. Yeah, so they're, they're, in, they're, they're in Glendale now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, was it a big studio too? Uh, no, it's uh, real small. Yeah, it looks way bigger on TV. Also. Yeah, it looks yeah. Right, it's real, very small. Yeah, but it was smaller than the other one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. 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 So, how did it go for you? I didn't win anything. <laughs> you didn't get, did you get up on though, did you, you didn't get up on stage no 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 uh, you you would i can't believe they didn't hear you in the line and say oh my god this guy would be great when he's talking to <laughs> <Nice>. yeah <laughs> you do a lot of talking in line because they'll say oh that guy's got a weird voice he'll be great to have on uh-huh uh, how do they pick those people? Is it just random? Uh, you, they... yeah, well, no, it's, uh, you get a 10-second interview, and uh, that's what they base it on. Oh, and, really? And so you yeah. got to talk to them. Yeah. yeah. And they don't respond to that voice? No. <laughs> that's well, there, goes, weird. there goes my strategy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I had a lot more hope for you in The Price is Right. So now hold up the sign again. Oh my man, it's not a sign, it's my name tag. That, that was your name tag that big? Well, well no, no, it's uh it's just the yellow part. I just I just have it so you can carry it around. Yeah, yeah. yeah but I'm saying that Edward was that on your chest? Was isn't that yeah. big yeah. to be on your that chest? Size? Yeah, just just, yep. just just the yellow part, not yeah, the white part. That part the white, know, the white part. Hold, just... that, uh, hold that up to your chest. That's still pretty that's big. Hold that. Oh, okay. Wow, I can see a, how that yeah. works. Yeah. yeah okay. Remember, remember, Drew is like sixty something years old. He can't see. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. And he's from Cleveland. So that's right. That's right. <laughs> what the hell does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> I had Drew on my show in San Francisco. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stand-up comic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm but the you, only. I'm the only. Tell me, you know me. Maybe you'll get on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you go out there once a year. Yeah, yeah. I, I skipped a few years because I had to take my mother, and then I had to skip from COVID. But uh, usually every year. That's cool. Yeah. So far, that's almost no years at all. Actually. <laughs> no, I've been going <laughs> since '82. First it was '82. Mother, '82 was the last one. Well, yeah, no, yeah, I, I started one. in eighty two. Wow, you started in eighty two. Yeah. yeah, and you've been to almost every one except during COVID. Every year, yeah, year. and then my mom, I had to take my mother a couple of years. So. What would you know, years? go out there in the first place? What say? By the way, this is the most we've ever talked to him. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, 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 what compelled you to go out there in the first place when you were younger, back in 1982? Well, I always like going to TV shows, and I think, well, I might win something here, so uh, that's why I went. Oh, okay. you went to another show on this trip, didn't you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I went to uh, Jennifer Hudson. What? Oh, yeah. Je- <laughs> Je- Hudson, I know, yeah. Jennifer Hudson. Oh, did Jennifer. you get her phone not, number? No, 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 I didn't get her phone number. Yeah, what good are you? Well, this is not a game <laughs> show, though. No, 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 no. <laughs> We oh, went to see Rachel so Ray when we were in New York a couple of years ago. That was that's good. Good. I guess they don't do any of those shows out here in New York any longer. Rachel no. Rachel Ray does her cooking show. Yeah. That's about it. Yeah, yeah. And that was the most boring. And of course, you got Stephen was. Colbert, but that's not a daytime show. Mm. No. You specialized in daytime shows, right, Edward? Well, yeah, mostly, yeah. Yeah. Did you ever go over and see Letterman? Once or twice, I saw his. I was at his first daytime show, and then I saw his nighttime show. You were at the CBS. first daytime show. Now that's yeah. uh, that's yeah. a big deal. Yeah, that's yeah. a big deal. Yeah. Where's Where's Chisholm? I mean, Shecky wasn't even at the daytime show. Ah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we had a show in Texas called the Texas All Night Radio or something show. Who that uh, David Letterman. That's where I first saw David Letterman, like in the 80s, when he had that show in Texas. Had a show in Texas? Yes. He was really? on TV in Texas. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. Echo, <laughs> did David Letterman ever have a show in Texas? He didn't trust you, Charlie. He hosted his own show there for 22 years. <laughs> That's not right. <laughs> what did he say? Wait, wait, wait. David, so did he hosted it for twenty two years. Did a show there for like twenty three years? No, no. I don't think it was that long, but it was several years. <laughs> but he wasn't even from Texas. What was he doing down there? I don't know, but he was on TV. Was here. That's when I there. first saw him. He was great. <laughs> Yeah, I, I was, was he. It was his show, uh, a talk. Yeah, show? he was. He did. It was like a talk show or whatever with with guests and stuff. Yeah. God, I never heard of that. Wow. Mm-hmm. Well, let me say hello to the rest of the people here. Charlene Solis, hello, Charlene. Hi. Hello to Francine Witt. Hey. Who doesn't give a wit? Uh, <laughs> let me see here. Yes, she does. It's Marjorie Miller, who's about to fall asleep because uh, Albert has been here. Albert and his wife and his his stepdaughter uh, uh, have been here hanging out, and and they they brought pot along with them. And Marjorie never turned it <laughs> down. So what you're seeing now is a how high are you, Marjorie? I feel good, Alex. <laughs> That's what it takes to feel good when you're married to me. <laughs> yep. John Ewing, hello. How are how's everything there in uh, in uh, Petaluma, Nevada? Everything's everything's good in Nevada. We had the Blue Angels, as Len probably knows, because I saw his photography <laughs> on Facebook. They were that was amazing. You know, flying around the Bay San Francisco Bay yesterday. I hated them. Oh God, did I hate? I know. <laughs> Sorry, man. I love it. Are you kidding me? Come on, that's unbelievable. Yeah, why would you <laughs> that's unbelievable? Wait till one of them crashes into the city. You know, there's one maneuver that they do when they go out up and over, and the guy's pointing like right at my face, and I'm like, oh my god, please pull up. You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. One of um one of the parachutes from the corner mile turned right onto West Avenue. Missed their landing and landed on two people. Yes, oh. I saw that. Really. When was this? Yesterday, I guess. Yes. Wait a minute. Yeah. Who landed on two people? One of the the parachute. They do a parachute show or something. Yeah, it's not just the Blue Angels. His, yeah, he yeah, missed his landing. He missed his landing, and he landed on two people. Oh, so yeah. they came out in the parachute, and they landed on two people. Mm-hmm. They yeah. landed on the Marina they Green. Killed or hurt or anything like that? They said they went to the hospital, but it was like minor. Yeah. Wow. Wow. I was on the marina. I knew there'd be an accident eventually. 
A big hello to uh, Paula. Hello, Paula. <clears throat> I'm glad you asked Edward the questions. I was curious about that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Ed, Edward, the question. Oh, burger. Yeah, about right. the, yeah. I, I'm fascinated by it. I'm fascinated. He wastes his time going to California for that game <laughs> show and doesn't do any. But do you do anything else in California? Yeah, the, the, the they say don't tape. I go and do other things. I, I saw that Saturday night. I saw that Saturday Night Live movie. Oh yeah, yeah. Did you enjoy it? I hear it's very good. Oh yeah, I liked it. Yeah, and you and you ate at Denny's. I mean, what else do you yeah, need? Yeah. <laughs> Hello That's to everything. our uh, old friend uh, 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 Brian Neary. Hello, Brian. Hello. How are you? Good. Yeah. Yeah. Buy any cars lately? <laughs> no. <laughs> You've been busy lately. Yes. <laughs> do you ever answer anything with more than one word? Yes. Oh, you should. <laughs> <laughs> Not doing good. Just busy, busy at work. Just, uh, yeah, COVID stepping up. So we got a lot of revenue right now. So are you in the office now or at your house? I'm at office. 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 Yeah. Because yep. they kind of look like office, so ceiling yeah. stuff. Ceiling. Yeah. Now, somebody who isn't in the office right now and usually is, is Mandy. <laughs> what are you doing, Mandy? I'm on a little trip. I'm right now I'm in Gloucester, Gloucester, Massachusetts. Wow. You're in what? I'm in Gloucester, Massachusetts. Really? And you didn't come by to see us? No. I was in New York briefly on Saturday. I was in Lake Champlain, like driving mm -hmm. from um for, from Canada. We went Vermont, Canada a little bit, and then we came back through New York and then with the, with, with Mr. X? Can we see the driver? Yeah. Can we see the driver, please? Yeah. There he is. Okay. I guess but we what? just went to we just went to this castle, the Hammond Castle. Oh, cool! Really? So, where are you now? You're in Massachusetts, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, are you heading down towards New York? No, we we're tomorrow. We'll be leaving and going back to Hartford, Connecticut, to go home. Okay. So, what were you we up there? To Hartford. Did you say you were up there to be in court? No, no, we. Just, I just have never been to New. I've been to Boston like five years ago. Oh, actually, okay. a town that I actually had been in this part, but I had not been in other parts like Vermont, Maine. We yeah. spent that Maine last night, so I'd yeah. never been to New England, especially in the fall. You know, leaf, peak leaf season. So we just mm -hmm. planned a little trip and came up here to. We I, we're off today, like we have a holiday at work. So. Mm. Oh yeah, because today's Columbus Day. Day. Indigenous, Indigenous People's, People's Day. Day. Yeah, <laughs> did, right. did you see the DNA study on on Columbus? No, uh, he's he actually Jewish. <laughs> no, he's completely. He's a he was a Sephardic Jew from Spain. Yeah, wow. 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 he's not Italian at all. He's a Sephardic Jew according to his DNA. I, I didn't think he was. I, I didn't think he was Italian. I didn't. Wow. Uh, at one point, I heard he was an Italian. Yeah. Well, you know the history. I mean, Columbus Day exists because Italian immigrants were always treated as as third class citizens when they first came, and they created Columbus Day to give to something special to make Italians part of the. And it turns out the guy they had the holiday for wasn't from Italy. Is anybody who's here today at all um, <laughs> Italian? La Frisco. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh, otherwise we could talk bad about Italians for an hour. <laughs> no, no meatball jokes. That wouldn't be fun. Feel, feel free. My mom's side's all Italian. My mom's side's Italian. Turn left on Roger Street. Your mother's <laughs> Italian? My mom's side is all Italian, yeah. On your side? Yeah. Your mom's, side. Yeah. My mom. I'm, so you're part I'm Sicilian, Italian. so. Yeah. Well, you know that yeah. you can get like, uh, you, you, can, you have automatic citizenship in Italy. I've actually yep. looked into that. <laughs> if you move, if you move to Paris, then maybe I'll move to Italy and we'll be neighbors. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Albert entered the waiting room. Okay. <laughs> All right. This, this so early? Is really, Albert, or somebody who's claiming to be Albert? Because Albert is uh, where? Let's see. Where's Albert? Here he comes. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm going to. Uh, 
Yeah. Oh, there he is. Yep, He's in my living room. He's in your living room. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> hey, I'm leaving. Just wanted to say hello and goodbye to everybody. Uh, okay, right. leaving and going away. Oh, there is. Uh, there's a, my daughter. A, there's your uh, your. Uh, there's Jesse. What do you call oh, nice. her? Daughter? Do you call her? What do you, God, what do you call her? My daughter. That's her his huh? daughter. Daughter. My daughter. He, he, oh, the, and 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 there's the there's the there's old Linda. lady. There's the wife. The old bag. There's the wife. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Yeah, they're all they all spent uh, the weekend with us here, and Whoa. they still are. But we're leaving now. I just want to say hello to everybody and happy Indigenous Columbus Day. <laughs> or whatever, or whatever it is. It's, it's and happy Sephardic Day. Well, Marjorie is and in the, way, a, in in the bedroom. He's in the living room. And nice I'm t-shirt. Yeah. What's with the t-shirt? Oh, Ray 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 Ray. Ray. I got it at a thrift shop. Got it at a thrift shop. I'll see you later. Bye, Bye. Hey, everybody. Wave goodbye Bye. to him. Lock I the door. I that lint frame. Lock the door on the way out. <laughs> I will. <laughs> Wait, leave a don't, tip for the maid. Steal. Don't steal anything. And, and and Marjorie is sitting there stoned. I can just tell when she's stoned. <laughs> <laughs> Stop she, it, she Alex. Has that look. Yeah, leave her alone. Yeah, her is, there something be wrong with being the is there something wrong with being stoned, dear? Yeah. When somebody keeps telling you you're stoned. Show and leave me out of it. Oh, yeah, when, you, <laughs> when you keep reminding your friend they're stoned, that's the pain in the ass. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You going to check uh, to see if Albert stole your Emmy? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, so uh, so they were spending the uh, weekend with us, and uh, uh, we, we we actually before that we had our friends uh, um, Bobby and Rachel. That's it with visitors, by the way. I just want to make that clear. What'd you say? <laughs> That's That's it. With visitors. <laughs> for, for what? For the year? Any more visitors? I said that's it. That's it. Forever. We me had down one right me. after another. I'm, I'm in the it, lobby. Bobby and Rachel left, and these guys move right in. You know, <laughs> I'll be uh, in the lobby in about 20 minutes. And so we <laughs> we've had uh, we've been a, like a regular B and B here. Uh, and um, they Who's drank our root beer, right? <laughs> we have we have this root beer we order. We order uh, uh, Stewart's Diet Root Beer. Have you ever had anybody had that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's good. It's really, really good. I don't know how the regular root beer tastes, but the diet root beer is like incredible. And so Marjorie goes out and buys a whole bunch of it. And it's not cheap either. It's something like 50 bucks for 22 bottles or something. Yeah, but, but we parse it out. <laughs> we parse it out, yeah. But then two visitors come to visit. And the first thing they go, oh, hey, this root beer is wonderful. I just had five bottles of it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and 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 yesterday, Marjorie went. Well, you know, we better order some some more from Amazon. Well, not Amazon, but from wherever you get this stuff from. And she went online. They don't have any. It's not available, and they don't know when it's going to be available. So, if anybody can send us some uh, a Stewart's Diet Root Beer, please feel free to do so. Anyway, that's our story, and I'm sticking to it. Anyway, so um, let me see here. Let me put my earphones on because I can hear better than uh, there we go. All right. Uh, so, anybody have any anybody gone to any movies that we haven't gone to? Yeah, I went to see the Joker. I think it's terrible. Oh, I liked it. You liked? Oh, liked you saw it. Yeah. The it reviews like are terrible. The I box know, but... is, is even worse. Mm. Yeah. Uh, and I was looking forward to it. You know, yeah. it's different. You know, it's different than the first one. It's for, it's darker and it's sort of like it's just a little odd. But um... well, it's a musical too, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Well, they have um, scenes with Lady Gaga in it, and they sing, and they don't yeah. want to. Yeah. Really give too much away, but you know. But I liked it, uh, you know. Well, good. I like Joaquin. I like Joaquin Phoenix, so it was worth. And I like Lady Gaga, so it was. It was worth my time. Wait a minute, everybody, be quiet. We've lost Marjorie. Yeah. Oh. 
<laughs> oh, the sister got it. Yeah. Okay, don't get mad. Don't get mad at me. I'm just kidding you because you're falling asleep. I am not falling asleep. Just carry on with your fucking show. Oh. <laughs> oh. Bring it. Um, I tried edibles for the first time. Did you really? <laughs> yeah. And what did you think? Well, it was really funny because, it, you know, it said on the box, I went to that dispensary down the street from here. Mm -hmm. And um, it was, so I said, well, what's, you know, what's good for like, I, I just want to be mellow at around 11 o'clock at night, you know. So she said, well, just take half, which was five milligrams, I guess. She said, cut the gummy in half. So I did. And I like, you have to wait longer because it takes longer to get into your system. Mm -hmm. Um, and all of a sudden, I don't know what I was expecting, but I just said, oh, I'm high. <laughs> I, I know this feeling. I didn't know what I thought was going to happen, but it's, oh, I'm high. <laughs> Marjorie was given a, a, a chocolate bar. Mm -hmm. um, oh, a, 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 what do you call a chocolate bar? A, uh, chocolate. A, 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 a chocolate bar. Edible, yeah. Like one and, inch and by it, one inch. It, it was sent to her. And she opened it up and she said, well, I'll give it a try. And she ate the whole bar. Oh, boy. <laughs> when you were supposed to just chop it up by the square. And that was usually <laughs> enough for one person for one day, right? She was high for what? Three days? Three days. So I just, I'm not going to talk to anybody. I'm just going to watch television and take naps. And that's it. I didn't even have anything to do with her. I mean, I just, you know, I wasn't going to, you know deal with it but man that was that was terrible she, because i went in she said well i ate some of the uh, chocolate uh, uh pot you know and i went well how much did you have she said, oh, i ate the whole thing <laughs> and i said you don't eat the whole thing you eat a square of it if that you know but uh you you, you don't do edibles that much do you marjorie occasionally yeah are they good do you like them I like them because I just didn't like them because I didn't feel that I knew what how much I was getting, you know. It yeah. says on the bottle, doesn't it? On the yeah. Yeah. well, so, yeah. it says that. But hell, I, I I'm sorry, I live in America. Who goes by the metric system? <laughs> <laughs> you go by the metric <laughs> system, do you? Mostly. Why? Because it's easier. The it's, only metric I don't use is the temperature because metric temperature doesn't make sense. But when I'm measuring and doing things, I the millimeters and centimeters are much more precise and easier to get to than oh, sixteenths yeah. and thirty seconds. And plus, yeah. most of the work, is most it, of the work that it, we do is metric. Well, how many here were trained under metric? Anybody? Oh yeah. Well, of course you're Mister <laughs> Science. Yeah, we had metric when I was a kid. I lived overseas for years, too, and if you talk to someone about an inch, they just looked at you like you were crazy. And yeah. on GPS, when we crossed into Canada, they, she immediately, we were so used to hearing, in half a mile, and as soon as we crossed into Canada, she, in 600 meters. Level <laughs> <laughs> like, what? what? How, how far? It's the same, same reason why men are better with maps than women. We, yeah. we can envision an inch equaling a mile. Uh, <laughs> well, I thought this was six inches. <laughs> hey, we're going inside to eat. Bye, uh, okay. Why can't Enjoy. we go with you? Why can't we go with you? Come on. It's like breathes on the night show. With you. Yeah, that's a little that's probably a little bit too much interaction. <laughs> <laughs> How loyal are you to this program for crying out loud? <laughs> At least for a lobster roll. Oh yeah, yeah that sounds oh, good. Wonderful. We just want to verify that you're washing your hands before you eat. <laughs> do they have lobster rolls where you're going yeah we're going to a place called charlie's charlie's place oh really? <laughs> i bet you my yeah. wife knows about that place texas uh, texas I, uh, I went to rolls. a place in uh where was it in uh up in uh, near boston called red's lobster rolls and supposedly yeah. the most famous in the country i just died i thought i'd gone to heaven you get lobster rolls in that part of the country <laughs> You're getting a real treat, so I'm jealous. So we're go, gonna, leave we're us. We're going to split one. Is there leave, like us and, you know? leave us and go and get your goddamn. Yeah, you're probably going to have to go talk. <laughs> you're probably going to have to go talk to the finance manager to get a lobster roll. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, they're not cheap. They're not no. cheap. Yeah. Um, and uh, Henry did get a kick out of when we went to our last Airbnb. It's over this little store, like near the water, like like in a little inlet or whatever. Mm-hmm. We go up into our room and it's like they've kind of redone it and walk out to like the window and he just busts out laughing because right, we're overlooking a house. This really nice like Cape Cod house, you know, and they've got a flagpole with an America flag and then a Trump flag. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, son of a bitch. I thought I was getting away from yeah. <laughs> we're, we're, we're more concerned. You two are sharing the same room? Are you married? <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> we're acting married. We're just never acting married. Yeah. Well, they were formally married. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Well, have a good time with your lobster roll and we're jealous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bye bye. Everybody wave goodbye to her. Anyway, um, boy, but Marjorie, but she's gone. Marjorie orders lobster rolls from um, from time to time. What's the name of the place? Uh, Stuart Sue Leonard's. Stu Leonard's, yeah. and uh, uh, they have lobster rolls, and they're delicious. I mean, they're, they're great. good. You know, but I got to say, not as good as you get when you go up to where she is and walk mm. in just any old stupid place that sells lobster rolls because they're really good. Of course, they have... just caught the lobster. Hmm? Yeah. Because they yeah, just caught they the just lobster. Caught it two hours ago. That, yeah. that, has, that may have something to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. You ever had a lobster roll, Brian? Yeah. At the mall. <laughs> no, 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 no. Okay. So it was that Valley Fair Mall, but it, it actually it was really, really famous for them and they were so good and they closed. Oh, mm. really? Yeah. Yeah. So I, I've never really tried to find one again, but yeah, there it was. So you, in California, lobsters are not easily available. Nope. Well, you know, because lobsters yeah. don't travel well. That's the reason why. It comes frozen. Because well, they, they don't know how to comes a joke. Wait, yeah, Andrew wants to tell us a joke now about yes, traveling lobsters. What? I, just because I wanted to mention it's hard for me to get a passport? That's not a joke. <laughs> I knew that was coming. Thank you. Those little claws. It's hard to hold onto the document. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in California, we're not really big uh, big on, on lobsters <clears throat> because they don't travel Pre- well. And so Crab they, out here. Huh? It's crab out here. Out there, it's yeah. It's, it's go, to, go see a doctor. You can't get a dungeon of crab in New York, really. You know, um, and dungeon is crab. Oh my god, you know mm. that's to die for. Ooh, I mean, expensive too. It, it's as good as lobster, you know, uh, but different. So anyway, <laughs> yeah. So what have you been doing, Brian? You've been working, right? Yes. <laughs> Boy, that's an exciting answer. <laughs> no, sorry, sorry. So, I mean, it's calling me on my phone. I did. Our, 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 our company took away Zoom because we use Teams now. So, um, um, yeah. So I got to be on my phone on this call. But no, no, everything's going good. Uh, uh, what do we do? Adrian? Oh, Adrian and I went to a friend's birthday party, one of my friend's birthday party that she knows. Mm-hmm. So we did that on Saturday, and then Sunday, I I came home Saturday just totally exhausted. So I got good sleep, and then like cleaned and did bills and did like you know one of those days you just got to do everything at home. So so mm-hmm. it's good. I'm feel good this week. Yeah. So you are you working as hard or less than you were working last week? Because I didn't hear from you here, and yeah. I didn't hear from you on the late show for a couple. I, it, it, was, it was just like. Timing. Timing was, yeah, I was busy timing, timing wise. So, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. you're sitting in your office and you're fine, right? Yeah. Multitasking. And, and he's, yeah. he's trying to work to save up for the first oil change on his car. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, we took, and we took the car out Saturday. So she loves that car. So we had, we had a blast. Which car? The The new car. The new car, which is the Cadillac? No, no, no. no I, we took I don't the know. Cadillac your, to go. I don't know your cars anymore. Okay. We took the Cadillac to go get the McLaren. We took the new McLaren out. So oh, right. the new McLaren! Oh. You have the new McLaren. Is it a brand new McLaren or is it a used brand new McLaren? 
It's a used, but it only had 800 miles when I bought it. Wow. Wow. Yeah, why, so, why did it have 800 miles? Apparently, somebody wanted to get rid of it. Yeah, the guy, the guy who originally bought it put like 600 miles on it, and then he sold it to a guy after a couple of years, and the guy just put it in his collection and never drove it. So no. we we my car car guys we always have a concern because it has so few miles and was never driven. But my friend who who works he works on our McLaren that he changed a couple of the big gaskets out and all that stuff. So it's it's like a brand new car now. So nice. What's a McLaren? You explain to what a McLaren is because most people haven't heard of them anyway. So our audience will be illuminated. It's a British car by Bruce McLaren started the company. Bruce yeah. McLaren was with Carol Shelby and all those guys racing back yeah, in the day. Yeah. If you, if, you see, if you see the movie, uh, what's the movie called? Um, is that his, by the way? It yeah. is. Hey, McLaren. Oh, that's his? Oh, okay. Yeah. It's one of those cars, Paul, that looks like it's doing 100 miles an hour when it's in park. Yeah. <laughs> it took me for a little rip in that thing. It was pretty nice. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did that cost you a pretty poor penny? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. yeah. Is is it like a sports yes, car, or yes, is it, or is it more like a sedan? Oh, it's no, a, sports no, it's a sports car. Oh, that's a sports <laughs> okay. car. Okay, okay. Yeah. You, 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 you wear the car. Any car that looks, in the car. any car that looks like it's moving when it's standing still is a sports car. Yeah. <laughs> Gets seven hundred and ten horsepower, so it's it's it gets up. What? God. Uh, my other McLaren. Where are has... you going to use that? Oh, <laughs> Gil, my new. <laughs> uh, I use it all the time. What are you talking about? <laughs> you go on two eighty. Yeah, yeah two eighty, but those are other. Have it better roads than two, but up in the hills, you know, up in Skyline, you know, Skyline and all that area up Santa Cruz Mountains is real fun to take it. So, mm. where did where did where did uh, James Dean die? What road there was a road there where he was on, he was down near, yeah. I was, I was trying to remember that they have a big memorial over there. Um, yeah, I forget where it is, yeah, it's in that, that area, not selling it, but south from there when he was coming up, yeah. My friend Larry Bubbles Brown likes to say that he knew James Dean at that time and told him, you really should take your new car down so-and-so. It's And just open it up. It's great. Try it out. <laughs> but uh, so uh, uh, I want to ask you how much the car costs, but you're in the, uh, you're in the, um, well, not computer business, but biotech, biotech, biotech. Okay, that's the uh, best way to describe it. And everybody I've ever known who was in technology bought sports cars. <laughs> I think I've mentioned this before, and I don't know why uh, they had this 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 propensity towards sports cars. And my company had a good year a few years ago. And so everybody goes out and buys sports cars when yep. it's a good year. Well, new cars. <laughs> my, yeah, <laughs> Well, no, I mean, my friend, my friend Paul, when they had their company, I mean, he had a uh, he had a Ferrari, and then his partner gave him his Diablo, his uh, Lamborghini, like, Lamborghini Diablo. By the yeah. way, the most uncomfortable car I've ever ridden in. I agree. Uh, yeah. And and it was just an amazing kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Um, that uh, that uh, that people who worked in that business bought sports cars. Uh, they were buying. What were they buying? They were buying. Oh God! What was the company? The uh, the I, I had one of their cars. Hugo. Huh? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acura, right? Acura. Well, I had an Acura. And this was they had all the Acura sports car, which was the. Do you know what it is? I'm talking about. Acura. Yes. Yeah. NSX, NSX. They all had yeah. NSXs. You go to that, the, go to go to his, their company, and and lined up in the in the uh, parking lot, one NSX after another, and yeah. then of course the Lamborghini. You know. Maybe maybe it's because they were looked on as nerds in high school, and now they're getting revenge. What do you say? <laughs> that has something to do with it, I'm sure. Yeah, sure. I'm sure. But I think getting sports cars is a very nerdy thing. Am I not right about that? Let me ask the nerd. I, Brian? <laughs> I, 
I will tell you this. My inner circle of friends, you'd be amazed at what companies they started. Mm. So well, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you one. So one okay. of my friends, he just moved out of here. I think he moved to Italy now. But uh, he and his partner started Dropbox. Whoa. Oh, God. Wow. Yeah. So it's, and, and everybody's so humble and we're all friends and we text each other stupid stuff. That's like everybody else does. But it's like, hmm. oh, yeah, I'm going to take the family and move to Italy. <laughs> like, you know, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah, pretty crazy. But. In the private jet. Yeah, by the way, I, I I invented Dropbox. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. 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 Well, how does that make you feel? I mean, you've never started oh. a company like that. <laughs> no, no, yeah, it's it's pretty funny. Yeah. And did any of these people who started these companies say, Brian, come work for us? No. <laughs> not yet. Not yet. I may need a job though. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, it, yeah, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's Silicon Valley, so you know you, you get that out. Here, so, yeah, yeah, they, they were probably working for some other company when they came up with Dropbox, right? I guess, oh, yeah. sure. Yeah, but he's pretty. But he's pretty young still, too. You know? How young? I don't know. He's in his forties, at oh, least. God. Yeah, maybe late thirties or forties. Yeah, it's crazy. Wow, so. Marjorie, we should just give up. <laughs> we passed that point a long time ago. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, I, I yeah, I knew a lot of people in the com computer industry, you know, yeah. tech and so on, and uh, they had pretty good lives. But a lot of them had pretty bad lives oh. because a lot of these companies went belly up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, successful for a time. That's when yeah. they bought the cars, yeah. and then <laughs> they went belly up. Well, yeah, you know, in, in the whole COVID thing, you know, our company had a big product line before COVID came. So, like, flu was our biggest seller for detection. So, our company does detection for D using DNA to do detection. Very, very quick and very, very accurate. So, um, so we had a huge menu. And then when COVID came, we didn't ship anything from our menu. We only focused on COVID. But then you had all these companies that only did COVID. So, when COVID went down... They all went down. So a lot of a lot of companies that were making a lot of money off COVID, they're gone. There's only wow. a few of us that survived. Wow. Mm, you wow. guys, you guys are doing fine. Yeah, because we have so much. We have a huge menu that we haven't been shipping, and now we're back to that shipping that menu with COVID stuff to do. Yeah. So I mean, uh, and you're probably one of the main players in that field, right? I would imagine. Yeah, we just we just passed the uh, uh, roast. <laughs> We passed Abbott a couple of years ago. We just passed Roast this last year. Or so wow, yeah, for in, for uh, IVD diagnostic stuff. Yeah, what's the name of your company, Brian? It's called Cepheid, C E P H E I D, and we're owned by Danaher. They acquired us in December two thousand sixteen. But so. but but that that's it, that's the name of the company. Didn't they have another name at one time? No, Cepheid. Cepheid. Oh, yeah. really? that's what it is. Yeah, that's, that's the company, yeah. And then Dana Hurd is our, our parent company. Yeah, I still have this little uh, thing right over here. You uh, got a cap, yeah. The capture device for the... Yeah, I used the cap to run. I don't know why. Yeah. 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 You, you hand them out as paperweights, do you? <laughs> no, they're like all over my house and like my car and it's so weird. They just grow around my house yeah but you have these little uh the, the, these little things that catch whatever and yeah you... it's just like a little cartridge and they have all these little chambers inside and it takes fluid back and forth and grabs your sample and mixes it together and goes to another chamber mixes some chemicals and then it goes into a little window and then you Ooh. test to see if that dna is multiplied you know millions of times if it has you have that disease well that's pretty, nice. pretty basic yeah but what i'm saying is is that that uh uh, this is something that won't go out of business. You know, there's always some disease that's going to need to be. Oh, yeah, we, yeah, we started out with anthrax. We started out with Northrop Grumman. Isn't it wonderful? Free... Our company started out with anthrax. <laughs> <laughs> then we moved on to COVID. It was 9-11 nine, happened. The, the three congressmen had the anthrax letters, so we yeah. worked with Northrop Grumman to start. So we're in all the post office hubs. That's how it started. Mm -hmm. Then went infectious. <laughs> wow. So it's a pretty big company now. Very big. Yeah, we have seven over 7,000 active employees, but I was an employee 75, and that was 
we've had so many people come and go, you know, so. You have 7,000 employees. <laughs> How many work under you? I have 1,200 underneath me right now. Oh, God. Jesus. God, God wow. I better get to know you better. <laughs> yeah, you can be my greeter, like greet everybody. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm I'm kissing up to you. Unfortunately, you didn't kiss up to your friends. Otherwise, <laughs> you'd be living in Italy right now. Yeah, that's a really well known company in Biomed. They're what? Great. They're a really well known, well thought of company. Wow. They're 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 a customer <laughs> of ours. <laughs> yeah. And uh, and a few years ago, you didn't even exist. Who? Your company. Oh, 1996. 1996 yeah. when the company started. Really and I started that 20, long ago. I've been wow. 20 years ago. So that was 2004. Yeah. yeah. Wow. I never heard of it. Yeah. yeah. You don't. You won't. <laughs> no, most Andrew, nobody. Nobody's sending you anthrax letters anymore. <laughs> <laughs> no, the only white powder I have around. Well, forget it. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> and you talk about. Marjorie's gummies. You're right. <laughs> yeah. But uh, that would be a good thing, though, for people who are into cocaine. It'd be good if you had a product that they could test uh, the cocaine to make sure it was okay. <laughs> they, my friend in uh, my friend, actually, my old boss who left here, and then a couple people from here went to this company. It's, I don't want to say the name, but it's a company that does uh, marijuana testing. So, like a breathalyzer. Uh -huh. For marijuana, because you know a lot of companies obviously it's legal, but still you can't be high when you're working. So they have mm -hmm. that, and they're trying to they get like funding for another year. So they're trying to make that company big. So in other words, companies are still testing their employees for marijuana. Yeah, yeah, because you can't be high. It's like you can't be drunk at work. Yeah, you, know? you can't be drunk at work. Yeah. All right. So and the problem I mean, with marijuana is it's in your system for beyond so they need to be able to test recent use of marijuana yeah. as opposed to accumulated in your body yeah there's another yeah. another company that's a client of ours that we can't say the name they've now made kits for people at home to test their drugs to make sure there's no fentanyl in it oh, so if wow. you buy yeah. if you buy cocaine or you buy marijuana you can put a little bit of it in the in the testing and shake it up and it tells you if there's fentanyl wow wow that's good yeah, yeah. They, they haven't launched yet, but we're we're working on their packaging. Wow. Yeah. Uh, wow. That, that's good. That's terrific. Um, yeah. There's there's nail polish now for girls that or guys, whoever puts it on, that you can stick your finger into a drink and it'll tell you it changes the color of the nail polish if there's if it's been if oh. there's certain certain drugs. So when a girl's in a bar, she can just stick her finger in and see if the jackass that next to her tried to roof her or not. Wow. wow. That's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. that's a terrific idea. Yeah. See, those, why didn't you think of that? Those are easy ideas, you know. Yeah, yeah. it's and, and you think about the safety of it. It's not it's not that common that the guy's the one getting roofied. Yeah, but I mean the fact that she can just yeah. casually stick her fingernail in the drink without yeah. anybody even really noticing. What does it do? Ch turn change color? Yeah, it changes colors. Yeah. With it, with at the certain, I think it's opiates, and there's there's a couple of different medications that cause it to turn color. Hmm. You know what? It'd, I be, it'd be funny if it was a different different drug on each finger. And else. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, of changing color, of changing oh, color. Like. How about that Kamala Harris? No, it's, it's oh. color. Uh, oh. uh, talk about changing color. Uh, they have this. Uh, they advertise this on MSNBC. It's a, a kitty litter. Yeah. It mm -hmm. changes colors when your cat pees in it, depending upon what's wrong with your cat. Yeah. That was that was on Shark Tank, I think. Was yeah. it on Shark Tank? I, Shark Tank? I think so. I, I think, think you're so. right. I think you're yeah. right. And what it does is like a certain color, if there's blood in the, in the cat's urine, Something else, if it's something else in the cat's urine, and, uh, and if it's cocaine, it, it's a test for it for inside. Your cat. <laughs> but it, it 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 tests whether the cat's ever been touched by a Haitian from Springfield. <laughs> <laughs> right, but I mean, uh, um, yeah, that's a great that's a great test though that fingernail thing. I like that. 
Yeah, I don't know how effective it is. I just I heard a pitch for it recently from someone who's was producing it. It would seem so, to work. It would seem to make sense. I don't know. Yeah. We we make all sorts of tamper resistant and and uh well, we never to, establish to, that we never establish what you do for a living, and I think neither have you. Me? <laughs> I don't think it's any of your damn business. <laughs> that office you, looks pretty shady, though. No, no, I hope the shades are closed. <laughs> <laughs> the sun's right in my face if I don't have the the shades. Yeah, but you deal yeah, with I do. a lot of these companies, so that's kind of must, work. Must be interesting. I'm, yeah, I'm a. I, companies hire me for strategic marketing and growth. So we companies that are highly distressed would bring me in when they're on the precipice of going broke and learning how to make the business successful. And one of the companies that I work with actually is a provider of materials for here. Here's here's his logo. The Cepheid. Cepheid. Okay. Yeah. But uh, yeah, this, this particular company is a specialty printing house for the pharmaceutical industry. So and we those do, companies, on those companies, they're about to go broke, and you're going to help. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do they pay you up front? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm wondering about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's I've I've learned my lessons over the years. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but there's like we we make a a label that has an RFID chip built into it for the for the cancer industry. So it the the RFID chip goes into the machine. The, it goes inside a machine, and the machine reads it to make sure that it's not counterfeit. And then after it radiates the medication, it changes the color of the ink so they know that the radiation worked and that it's a spent product ready to use. And what? there's it so so people counterfeit medicines all the time. Oh, there's yeah. another another company that, that makes underwater welding rods that's not a pharmaceutical business, but the Chinese knock it off and, and they're it's we, we make a label for theirs that has six different features to it that prevent you from being able to counterfeit the label. So there's a one part of it has what's called a smart ink. You can imagine one one pound of this ink is two thousand dollars, and there's a special wow. reader that can see it. And there's another ink that only shows up under a certain kind of light. And there's raised letters that, and then there's also a black line that, if you look with a microscope, it says something in the line that makes up the line, so that when someone is doing something extremely dangerous, they don't make the mistake of buying a counterfeit item. So huh? very very specialized printing for for industries. Didn't you say that, uh, Andrew, didn't you say that sometimes people in, in foreign countries mistook you for somebody that that worked for the CIA? Oh, I get, yeah. Well, I lived overseas now for years. I, Well, now I understand why. You know, yeah. that's like, like defense. Well, when, well the, but that's a difference. When I lived overseas and then we came back to live, I've been, I was gone for 10 years living in Brazil. And when my kids went to school, and people would try to figure out what the hell was I doing down there for all those years. The kids created their own legend. I never said wow. anything. So my my daughter's <laughs> friends would come over, and they were all convinced I was like a black ops guy from the CIA and better not. What literally your kids did was narc you out. <laughs> no, no. They just they thought it was hilarious that the the, the, the kids thought that I was that. Mm. And in reality, I never worked for the CIA. Well, let's ask this question. What do you say? Yeah. <laughs> What's new with Charlene? Yes. What's new? Oh, what's new? Um, I went to the pumpkin patch with my grandkids yesterday. Oh. Oh, so that was fun. We went to, to Rockland. We went to the pumpkin patch and watched them ride the, you know, the little ponies that go around in a circle. Oh, so the pumpkin patch has more than just pumpkins. Yeah, it had, God, it had vendors. It had food. It had, uh, you know, a lot. It was... Yeah. Super hot and super hard to get to. It was really a long line, but well, when it must be down near your area. Is it hot down there today? Today's gorgeous. It's like seventy something. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah we're, we're seventy-five. Oh, yeah, beautiful. How was it a few days ago, though? It was a hundred. Yeah, it was one hundred and eight. I think here. Yeah. So that's probably where she was. At. Well, you're down where. Uh, she's in Castro Valley, aren't you? Well, actually, I'm in Dublin now, but we mm. went to Rockland yesterday, which is up past. Well, you went up to Rockland. Oh, geez. Yeah, it's up past mm. Sacramento. So, yeah. I but hear... I, actually, I'm in Dublin now. So, it was pretty warm here last week, too. I hear San Francisco yeah. is really hot. Yeah, it was it in is... the 90s, I think. San Francisco is yeah. in the 90s, yeah. Really? It's very it, unusual. Usually in San Francisco, I, well, and then at night it goes down to 40s. 
you know, mm-hmm. I mean, you got all that fog coming through the uh, through the bay, and it's kind of like instant air conditioning. Well, they they canceled the Blue Angels on Saturday because oh, too thank foggy God. To fly. <laughs> <laughs> when the Niners were on TV about a week ago, there were players <laughs> passing out and stuff. Mm-hmm. They had to go and get you, IV fluid. I'm ninety five. Did you see how empty the stands were, Charlie? It was crazy. They were all yeah, inside. I hear it looked like a. I hear it looked like a. I hear it looked like a. I hear it looked like a Trump rally. Yeah. <laughs> well, Charlie, we what the happened week? to the Cowboys yesterday? Yeah. The co- Cowboys, they didn't play yesterday. Yeah, exactly. They really didn't play yesterday. <laughs> Sorry, <Exactly>. man. <laughs> Hey, Charlene, did you get one of those big orange pumpkins so in November you can throw the garbage pumpkin out like we're going to do with the other one? Yeah, I, I think I'll put the one in the dirt so I can grow a pumpkin for next year. It's the I'll biggest. It's the out greatest. And all the seeds go into the ground and then you grow another pumpkin the next year. You know what I'm getting to hate? I We don't normally talk politics, and I'm, this isn't really, this is, I don't know. I'm sick and tired of polls. Yeah, you know, but but people from Poland are nice. What's your problem? <laughs> <laughs> you got a pierogi problem, or getting on with what I was saying? Uh, uh, <laughs> no, I'm, I'm getting so sick of them because today they got like an NBC poll. All right, now why should I believe NBC? <laughs> why? Through television and radio network, who cares? You know, but they've got them really even. And I'm thinking, yeah. why do they have them even? And I'm thinking, let's see, they have television networks and they want people to watch them. Well, isn't it in their best interest for everything to be dead even? Mm-hmm. Because if people will constantly watch, is it changed? Is it whatever? And so I don't believe those. So, I, you know, the only one I really believe, I, I kind of go along with the uh, New York Times Siena poll, which seems to be better. You know than any of them, so the most respected. But I'm sick and tired of all the polls and never making <laughs> predictions now, and so on you know, and so forth. Do you trust the stripper poll? Yes, I do. <laughs> I do. I absolutely do. Uh, but uh, so I thought I would. I would check here. Uh, I want to take. I want to. Uh, this is a poll, ladies and <laughs> gentlemen. Okay, uh, who are you voting, <laughs> Charlie? I'm voting for Kamala Harris. Yes. Uh, uh, Charlene, who are you voting for? Kamala Harris. <laughs> uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, our uh, This is a scientific poll, by the way. Uh, Edward, who are you voting for? Kamala Harris. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, how about you, uh, Francine? She must be different. Francine? Kamala. Uh, Marjorie, who are you voting for? You already voted. We both I voted for Kamala. We, we mailed our stuff in. Yes, uh, how about you, John Ewing? Who are you voting for? Just put it in today, Kamala. Okay. And uh, let me see here. Uh, uh, Andrew, who are you voting for? L- Lyndon LaRouche. Okay. <laughs> I knew I wasn't going to get a great answer. <laughs> Len, who are you voting for? Kamala Harris. How about you, Paula? Already did, Kamala. Yeah. Okay. How about you, Brian? Undecided. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, I'm voting for Kamala. But you know what's funny? I know I know nobody watches Big Brother, neither do I, but I watch it at the end. Those people have been they've been in their little bubble for three months. And yeah. the, this was the final show, and they actually told them, by the way, you, you guys don't know who's running for president right now. And they said, Oh yeah, we do. They said, No, you don't. Uh, they've they been sequestered, you know, for those three months yeah. during this time. So they yeah. told them, and they're like all in shock. It's pretty funny to watch. It. Well, mm-hmm. really, yeah, I have to look that. at that. Okay, yeah. Uh, uh, so in my poll, in the poll we just took, the uh, official Alex Bennett Gabnet poll, uh, <laughs> Kamala Harris, uh, except for one person here, uh, <laughs> had people voting for. Her. Wait, can I change my vote? Yeah, sure. Okay, I'm not going to vote. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 100% come. I already voted. Yeah, okay. So, I, I had such a good time, I did it three more times. Well, according <laughs> to this poll, he has a 100% chance of winning. Yeah, there you go. Post, post that on Gabnet. On the Gabnet. <laughs> yeah. right? 
So uh, what are you going to believe, ladies and gentlemen? Are you going to believe the GabNet poll or are you going to believe the NBC poll? Thank you. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's just, it's weird. It's just... So the highlight, the highlight of the week was that he's going to reinstate the act from 1798 that put, that we used to put Japanese people into internment camps. And oh. and now you just change the name Japanese to Latino and, and we'll see where he goes yeah. with it. Or Haitian. And, and by and by the way, if you listen closely in Detroit, he I think he shot himself while he was speaking. You could hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he farted. Yeah, he farted. No, it, yeah. it did. That yeah, didn't sound. That didn't sound like one without fallout. We tried yeah, to real. Go back and forth to try to hear it. Yeah, we couldn't hear it, but people. You could hear it all the way in Cleveland. It was so loud. <laughs> <laughs> right over the lake. But you know, uh, uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, you know, uh, who knows uh, the polls? I. Uh, they, I I just think uh, who knows who's going to win, you know. I just, she is. I just hope we don't have to move to Europe. Yeah. yeah. Although maybe we'll move to Europe anyway. I don't know. You know, the fact that uh, even let's say forty nine percent of America votes for Trump, and the rest vote for Kamala. Right. That's enough for me to hate this country. Yeah. yeah. You know, only... really wonder what this country is <clears throat> about. My God. The only thing we know for sure, Alex, doesn't matter what happens if he wins or loses. He's going to say that it was rigged and it should have been more. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm worried. I'm worried yeah. about civil unrest if he loses. I mean, really. Yeah. I never in yeah. my life, and I've lived a long life now, never worried about that. You know, yeah. he held an election. Somebody won. Somebody lost. You figured, okay, on with it now. Get on with our yeah. lives. Here, everybody's worried that there's going to be all kinds of problems with people, you know, upending the system. And I I, I, I feel bad about that, you know. And yeah. that, that's what's gone wrong with this country. And uh, Trump always yeah. said, oh, no, other countries don't respect us. The reason they don't respect us is because of the kind of negativism you brought to this country. Right. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and uh, it's it's sad. It's really sad. Uh, but uh, you can all come visit us in Spain, you know. Yeah, I'll, think... I'll be in Italy. You'll be in Italy. <laughs> hey, you you right. get. Let's see here. You get you get uh, uh, to live there. Uh, you get to own property there. Everything, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. I can. Because yeah, you're can be Italian. A citizen. Uh, uh, I think. Uh, well, can you can you do something for us? I mean, can you invite us over and then have us stay forever? Yeah. You you don't need him. You can do that on your own. Yeah. If you buy property in Italy, they'll give you they'll give you the rights to stay. Oh, really? It's not it's not difficult. I didn't oh, know wow. that. Yeah, there, there's there's all of these villages where there's very little population. You can get houses if you agree to fix them up for almost nothing. Oh, really? Man. Yeah, Italy wow. Italy's a great place if you're well, Marjorie, looking to. Marjorie's got great musculature. She'll be able to fix them up for us. <laughs> You were the one doing all the working out all those years, not me, Marjorie. That's true. But then COVID came by. Huh? Then, then we had COVID. Then COVID came by. Yeah, then she COVID. used to go. She used to go religiously. I mean, religiously yeah. to, to the gym. And COVID came along. That was it. It was over with. You know, and a lot of people stopped working out when COVID. Yeah. Came. yeah. Um, Does Jim miss you? I don't know. <laughs> Da, 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 da. <laughs> so anyway, uh, it's another week, and we're getting closer to the election, you know, and we'll see what happens. And uh, you know, but our little informal poll here says 100 percent of America is going to vote for Donald Trump. I mean, for um, <laughs> Kamala Please. Harris. And, uh, by the way, uh, what was it? It was one other thing that Trump did or said. Uh, I can't remember. One? Who cares? Uh, it just goes on and on, you know. Uh, but uh, anyway, thank you all. This has been really nice. It's always nice on, on a Monday, getting together with you people. Uh, and I don't mean to call it you people, you people, but I'm calling you <laughs> people. Uh, uh, I would don't dare call Charlie you people because, it's, <laughs> you know, it's not right to do with our uh, pigment impaired uh, people. Uh, no, we're pigment impaired. Are we pigment impaired? Is that it? 
I, I never like being called white because I'm not white. I mean, I'm something, but I'm flesh colored. Mm. Thank you, Charlie. Appreciate it. What is it? It's weird. Being the same age as old people. As old people. It certainly is. Yes, it uh, is. Charlene, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, and the lovely and attractive Francine uh, Witt is here. Uh, and uh, Marjorie, lovely to have you here. <laughs> and lovely to have you in the other room. And we don't have to worry about dinner. We ate it already, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Albert took us out to lunch. John Ewing, thank you. Appreciate it. Always love seeing you here. Andrew, the show wouldn't be as funny as it is without you. Uh, Len LaFrisco, ta-ta. And Paul <laughs> Levin, thank you very much. Really appreciate it. And finally, Brian Neary, ladies and gentlemen, who's uh, got a McLaren. Uh, thank you so much, <laughs> Brian. And finally, here is the lovely and attractive Edward Berger to say goodbye by saying... That's all, folks. <laughs> See you later, everybody. Bye-bye. Okay. <laughs>